The Superfund Research Program is a program that's mandated by the federal government and it uses uh, taxes that are collected to treat Superfund sites and a small portion of those taxes go to uh, 16 university programs across the country to address specific Superfund issues. These are sites that are highly contaminated and have been designated by the Environmental Protection Agency as sites that are of high priority for cleanup and that need uh, federal regulation as part of that cleanup process. The University of Arizona Superfund Basic Research Program is focused on regional hazardous waste that is important to the desert southwest. We are very limited in our water supplies in the southwest, particularly fresh water and, and potable water. So uh, we focus a lot on the toxicants that can get into our waterways and then possibly can get into our drinking water. Arsenic for the desert southwest is a natural contaminant. It is present in a, in a lot of our waters to begin with because it is present in our soils. And also we have the concerns of arsenic coming, uh, coming from a lot of our mining activities, that whether it's coming in and getting into our streams from a leachage from uh, either from the mining process or from the mine tailings. Chlorinated hydrocarbons are uh, contaminating our water. It's very important to the Southwest, but actually it's a nationwide, even, even, even a worldwide problem. And the uh, a big issue with the chlorinated hydrocarbons is they're persistent. They take a long time to percolate down to our, our, our low, low uh, waterways where we have uh, the TCE and the halogen hydrocarbons present. And that basically we're finding more and more that they present a substantial health hazard. Mine tailing waste is uh, one of the uh, big focuses of the Arizona Superfund program. And uh, that's because we, the hard rock mining in the West in general is a very, very big industry. And the legacy of that industry is that we have a lot of leftover mine tailing piles that remain barren. Um, the characteristics of mine tailings are such that they don't support plants and vegetation and so they remain barren and so on a windy day um, these mine tailings are picked up and spread um, into nearby communities. Our University of Arizona uh, Superfund program I consider as a prototype for the Superfund programs. It's a nice balance between environmental projects, that's environmental science and environmental engineering, also uh, uh, the biomedical projects. Uh, we've been focusing on our, our, our toxicants that are very important to us in the southwest that affect our waterways or we breathe in. Uh, and, and so I find our, our program a nice interesting balance in being able to take the uh, a, a focus on a particular field site, be able to do a combination of biomedical, environmental science, and environmental engineering projects with it to help remediate the site. Historically, our program has worked multidisciplinary at a site and it's kind of come in stepwise. For example, one of our first sites that we studied was at the Tucson International Airport and the chlorinated solvents, ETCE, that was present there. And that was actually found out by some epidemiological biomedical studies that we found out that there was a, a health problem there with uh, heart defects on newborns. From there, basically, we then started getting in deeper into the site of asking, well, what was the scale of this pollution? How much was there? How we could basically come in and help with the remediation of this site or limit further exposure? So on that site there, we went from biomedical to basically then modeling the site to then coming in to remediation steps. So there's an example where it's basically come in to be a, um, a example of multidisciplinary approach. Um, a, a really great example of a multidisciplinary project is the work that we're doing at the Iron King Mine and Smelter Superfund site. This is a Superfund site that was designated um, in September of 2008. And we have atmospheric scientists working on um, collecting dust that's being emitted from these tailings and characterizing the dust in terms of the particle, different size range particles and also different uh, toxicants including arsenic and lead that are associated with those different size range particles. We also have environmental scientists working at the Iron King site trying to revegetate the mine tailings. So they are determining what are the minimum inputs that you need uh, to, to mix with the tailings in order to allow plants to grow. Uh, we are also working with the, our Superfund Research Translation Corps uh, to inform the community about what mine tailings are, what is arsenic and lead, which are big components of those mine tailings, 
and to inform the community of what our plans are to both characterize and remediate the site. In addition, through our research translation core, we're working with EPA and our data that we're collecting will be used by EPA in their remedial investigation report and also in their feasibility study for this Superfund site. We are defining for the very first time um, the wind-borne erosion of mine tailings, for example. Um, that has not been studied as an exposure route and yet uh, we feel that it may be a very important exposure route and may have big implications for protecting uh, public health in the future. So we need to address these sites and uh, take care of them and minimize erosion processes from the site. I would say basically our science is being applied through regulations that, that uh, come in from either at a regional, state, or a national level. For example, our work that we first started out with, one of our, our sites uh, for Tucson International Airport and assessing TCE, that information now has been folded into the most recent uh, review on TCE to reassess its standards, reassess um, uh, uh, the toxic effects and, 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 and the regulations that should be uh, applied. So I, I see our work basically being um, integrated into the new regulations that, that, are, that occur for the typical pollutants. What excites me the most about this program, of course I'm seeing it from a, a director's point of view, but I, 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 I like the fact that it's practical. We're, we're assessing realistic, real-life problems and using uh, experts in different areas and multiple disciplines to really go out and help solve a problem. We work with a great group of people um, and I want to I want to just say that first that that each and every one of the 70 or so researchers and support staff that work on this program are fun to work with. Um, and also I think that we are making a difference in the state of Arizona. Um, we are focusing on some of the biggest contamination problems that we have in the state of Arizona and I believe in the 20 year duration of this program uh, we have we have made an impact on uh, developing and implementing remediation technologies that, that eventually will improve public health. Well, many of us scientists can basically stay in our laboratories and do our own isolated research and publish it and hopefully someone will use it. I see the, the great asset that we have with our Superfund programs and, and work is you see it readily used.